Hey everyone, welcome back to Tips and Streams. I'm your host, Kokon, and today we're stepping up to the plate with some MLB predictions that'll have you hitting home runs with your bets. We've crunched the numbers, analyzed the matchups, and found the best picks for you. Don't miss out on the action. Subscribe, like, and repost to stay in the know. Let's get those wins. And remember, it's all about the love of the game. Now, let's play ball. Today, we have predictions for three MLB games. The first prediction for today is for a game between the Kansas City Royals and Boston Red Sox. As the Boston Red Sox gear up to host the Kansas City Royals for the third game of their series on July 14th, fans at Fenway Park can expect a thrilling showdown. Both teams have had solid seasons, with the Red Sox holding a 51-42 record and the Royals close behind at 52-43. The duel between Boston's Brian Bellow and Kansas City's Brady Singer promises to be captivating. The Red Sox have been a force offensively, ranking 8th in MLB in team batting average and home runs, and 6th in stolen bases. Rafael Devers has been on fire, hitting .348 with an impressive 1.158 OPS over the last week, including 3 home runs and 7 RBIs. However, Boston's starting pitcher, Brian Bellow, has struggled this season. Despite his potential, Bellow's stats reveal weaknesses, a .415 expected opponent batting average and a 4.43 expected ERA, indicating that opponents have been able to make hard contact and drive in runs against him. In contrast, the Royals have shown a balanced defensive attack, ranking 11th in team batting average and 7th in stolen bases. Bobby Witt Jr. has been exceptional, hitting .429 with a 1.149 OPS in his last five games. Brady Singer, the Royals' starting pitcher, has been a standout performer with a 2.93 ERA and a knack for inducing weak contact from opponents. His impressive ground ball rate of 51.2% and a low walk rate of 7.3% make him a formidable opponent for Boston's hitters. Recent matchups between these two teams in Boston have been competitive, with the Royals winning crucial games and maintaining a competitive edge. Their recent form has been impressive, scoring an average of 4.61 runs per game while their pitching staff has held opponents to just 3.92 runs per game. Kansas City's offense has been firing on all cylinders, with key contributions from Salvador Perez and Vinny Pasquantino, adding depth and power to their lineup. Boston's lineup, despite its strengths, has shown inconsistencies. While Devers and Tyler O'Neill have been solid, contributing significant runs and hits, the overall team performance has been uneven. The Red Sox have a home record of 23-25, which is a cause for concern, especially against a resilient Royals team. In terms of pitching, Bellow's recent struggles cannot be overlooked. Allowing four or more earned runs in three of his last four starts, Bellow faces a tough challenge against Kansas City's potent offense. Singer's recent performances, however, provide a stark contrast. In his last four starts, he has allowed just one earned run per game, showcasing his ability to control the game and limit opposing offenses. The Royals' bullpen has also been a key factor in their success, with relievers stepping up in high-pressure situations. Kansas City's defensive capabilities, including a solid fielding percentage and the ability to turn double plays, further bolster their chances. Environmental factors such as the weather and the dimensions of Fenway Park also play a role. While Fenway is known for being hitter-friendly, the Royals' balanced attack and singer's pitching can neutralize this advantage. The betting markets favor the Red Sox with a minus 1.5 run spread and an over under total runs margin set at 9.5. However, given the current form and statistical analysis, the Royals have a strong case to upset the odds. The Royals have shown resilience as road underdogs, covering the run line in each of their last five games against AL East opponents following a road loss. In conclusion, despite Boston's offensive prowess, the consistency of Brady Singer and the balanced offensive contributions from Kansas City give the Royals the edge in this matchup. The prediction leans towards a Royals victory, with Kansas City's solid pitching and timely hitting likely to outmatch Boston's inconsistent performance. This isn't just a prediction, it's my bet. Based on the data and analysis, I'm placing my money on the Kansas City Royals on the money line. I might also consider the under 9.5 total runs as a backing choice. The Royals are well positioned to secure a win, and I believe they will deliver. The second prediction for today is for a game between the Cleveland Guardians and Tampa Bay Rays. In the upcoming MLB clash, the Cleveland Guardians and Tampa Bay Rays will face off at Tropicana Field in a pivotal showdown just before the All-Star break. The Guardians, sitting comfortably at the top of Yale Central, are aiming to solidify their dominance. Meanwhile, the Rays, battling in the competitive AL East, are striving to get back into the playoff race. 
The Guardians' strong season is fueled by a balanced offensive and defensive performance. They have a team OPS of .725, ranking 12th in the league, and average 4.83 runs per game. Their power-hitting prowess, with 109 home runs, places them in the top 10 in MLB. Third baseman Jose Ramirez has been a key player, boasting a .274 batting average, 23 homers, and 77 RBIs. On the mound, right-hander Ben Lively sports an 8-4 record, a 3.59 ERA, and a 1.19 whip over 82.2 innings. Despite a rough outing against the Tigers where he gave up six runs on seven hits, Lively has shown commendable form overall this season. The Rays have had a tumultuous season. They currently sit fourth in the AL East, 10 games behind the leaders, and 5.5 games out of a wild card spot. Offensively, they've struggled, averaging only 3.94 runs per game with a team OPS of .370. However, their base stealing ability, ranking fifth with 94 steals, adds a dynamic threat. First baseman Yandy Diaz has contributed significantly with a .734 OPS and 46 RBIs. On the pitching side, right-hander Ryan Pipiad with a 5-5 record, a 4.20 ERA, and a 1.13 whip has shown promise. His recent performance against the Yankees, where he allowed just one run over 5.2 innings, highlights his potential to challenge the Guardians hitters. Historically, the Guardians have had a slight edge in recent matchups at Tropicana Field. In their last five games in Tampa, they have managed to edge out the Rays, leveraging strong pitching and timely hitting. Additionally, the controlled environment at Tropicana Field often results in lower scoring games due to minimal wind interference. Both teams have key absences that could affect their performance. The Guardians are without key relievers Nick Enright and James Karinchak, as well as starter Matthew Boyd. The Rays are missing relievers Richard Lovelade and Jacob Wagesback, along with starters Jeffrey Springs and Drew Rasmussen. These injuries reduce bullpen depth, putting more pressure on Lively and Pipiat to deliver strong starts. Defensively, both teams have their strengths. The Guardians have committed fewer errors and boast a solid fielding percentage, enhancing their ability to turn double plays and stifle the Rays' offense. Conversely, the Rays' defensive metrics are average, with a middle-of-the-pack fielding percentage. Statistical comparisons indicate a likely low-scoring game. The Guardians have grounded into 74 double plays, ranking 8th in MLB, while the Rays have hit into 63, placing them 17th. Recently, Cleveland has struggled offensively, averaging just 4 runs over their last 14 games. Similarly, Tampa Bay has managed only 3.31 runs in their last 13 games. Pitching will be critical. Both Lively and Pipiat need to perform at their best. Lively's ability to limit home runs and strikeouts, combined with Pipiat's knack for limiting hits, will be essential. Given the Guardians' tendency to score fewer runs on the road and the Rays' offensive struggles, betting on the game going under is a calculated choice. In conclusion, the matchup between the Cleveland Guardians and Tampa Bay Rays is set to be a tightly contested game with a defensive edge. Analyzing the stats, recent performances, and head-to-head -head dynamics, my top bet for this game is under 8.5 runs. The strong pitching and defensive capabilities of both teams are likely to keep the run tally modest. The third prediction for today is for a game between the Texas Rangers and Houston Astros. The Texas rivalry intensifies the Sunday when the Houston Astros face off against the Texas Rangers at Minute Maid Park. This game promises to be an exciting showdown with important implications for the AL West standings. The Houston Astros, with a 50-45 record, have been in excellent form recently, winning four out of their last five games. They achieved a 6-3 victory in the series opener on Friday, but lost a close game in extra innings, 2-1 on Saturday. Their sweep of the Marlins indicates that they are peaking at a crucial time in the season. Conversely, the Texas Rangers, holding a 45-50 record, have also been showing signs of improvement, winning six out of their last eight games. Despite their inconsistencies, they managed a 2-1 victory in the second game of the series, with Nathaniel Lowe delivering a clutch RBI single. Wins against the Angels and Rays suggest they can be fierce competitors even in a challenging season. The starting pitchers will play a critical role in this matchup. Ronel Blanco will take the mound for the Astros. Blanco has been a standout performer this season, posting a 9-3 record with a 2.53 ERA and a 0.99 whip over 103 innings. His consistency has been vital for Houston, with 10 quality starts in 17 outings, showing his ability to control games and limit scoring. Max Scherzer, a seasoned veteran, will pitch for the Rangers. Although his season started with injuries, he has shown glimpses of his former dominance, carrying a 3.09 ERA over four starts since his return. 
However, his 0-2 record and struggles with home runs for allowed raised concerns about his ability to suppress the Astros' potent offense. Comparing the stats, the Astros' offense has been formidable, scoring 455 runs with a .263 team batting average. Key players like Alex Bregman and Jose Altuve have been leading the charge, turning games into slugfests. The Astros' bullpen has also been reliable, with a 4.03 ERA and a 1.31 whip crucial for maintaining leads in tight games. The Rangers' offense, though not as explosive, has been resilient, scoring 410 runs with a .242 team batting average. Marcus Semyon and Adulis Garcia have been pivotal, needing to support Scherzer with timely hits. The Rangers pitching staff, with a 4.00 ERA and a 1.26 whip, has been decent but must step up to challenge Houston. Historical head-to-head -head performance gives the Astros a slight edge, with three wins in the last five games at Minute Maid Park. Houston's home field advantage, combined with their recent form, positions them well for this contest. Injuries could impact the game's outcome, with the Astros missing key players like Justin Verlander and Kyle Tucker, and the Rangers without Evan Carter and Cody Bradford. These absences mean other players must rise to the occasion. The controlled environment of Minute Maid Park eliminates weather concerns, allowing players to focus solely on their performance. The hitter-friendly dimensions of the ballpark could increase home run potential, favoring the Astros' powerful lineup. Considering all factors, the prediction favors a Houston Astros victory. Blinko's consistent pitching, along with Houston's strong offense and home field advantage, gives them the edge over a Rangers team dealing with injuries and inconsistency. Expect a closely contested game, but the Astros are the safer bet. Their overall performance, both offensively and defensively, along with Blanco's reliability, makes them the team to watch.